Big news today, a huge decision that will mark the end of an era in Washington, D.C. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy announcing his retirement today. Kennedy, known as the Supreme Court's swing vote, was the deciding factor in a number of important cases in his three decades on the bench. KXY Force Taylor Graham, following this developing story, joins us now to break down how his departure will have a nationwide impact. Taylor? Well, Justice Anthony Kennedy made key decisions on Supreme Court rulings that changed the course of our country's history, and his retirement could have the same effect on the nation's future. From gay marriage to gun control, the nation's conversations have evolved over the last 30 years. The man at the center of it all? Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. I am Anthony Kennedy, do solemnly swear. Appointed in 1988 by President Ronald Reagan. I shall honor the Constitution. Kennedy has been committed to honoring the Constitution for three decades. The swing vote on a number of landmark cases. The cases swing, I don't. <laughs> Clearing the way for George W. Bush's presidency in Bush v. Gore. Granting same-sex couples the right to marry. They ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law, and the Constitution grants them that right. Writing the majority opinion, siding with a Colorado baker who refused to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple. Everyone deserves the cake! With his departure from the bench comes a debate as to who will take his seat in a split Supreme Court. Four justices leading liberal, the other four going conservative. Here's where things stand on the Hill. Senate Republicans have a one-seat majority and the power to confirm a justice with a simple majority. We will vote to confirm Justice Kennedy's successor. Democrats have the potential to take control of the Senate in November. We are gathered here today. For and President Trump is ready to begin the search for his second Supreme Court justice nominee in two years. Kennedy leaving big shoes to fill. Hopefully we're going to pick somebody who will be as outstanding. The White House came out with a list of 25 potential Supreme Court picks last year. President Trump says he'll be using that same list as he picks a nominee to replace Justice Kennedy. His retirement will be effective July 31st. In studio, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Taylor. And here's a look at that list of possible candidates. It includes mostly federal judges and state Supreme Court justices. You can take a look at the full list. We have it on our website, KXLY.com, in the news link section.